sea level rise is not exactly breaking news. Sea level is rising primarily because of global warming. Global warming is warming the water, and warmer water, like any most liquids, occupies larger volume than a colder liquid. So as the oceans warm, they expand and sea level goes up. But more significantly, as air temperatures rise, we begin to melt those polar ice caps, uh, the Greenland ice sheet, alpine glaciers, there's more water entering the ocean, so sea level rises. So the global average sea level has been going up, but that varies from place to place. In the past few decades, sea levels have actually been falling in the San Francisco Bay, but that's about to change. Besides this large-scale global warming, we have a shorter uh, term PDO or Pacific Decadal Oscillation here in the North Pacific that affects the way that bodies of cold water move back and forth between the East and the West Pacific. And we've been in a phase for several decades now where the temperature of the water being lower in the East Pacific, and that's our side of the Pacific, causes our sea level to be lower off the coast of North America, whereas it's higher on the other side of the Pacific. But now the Oscillation, oscillation means this goes back and forth. The oscillation's swinging the other way. What's a little sea level rise? Well, experts say that levels could rise as much as 14 inches by 2050. That could mean bad news for low-lying areas around the bay, wetlands, islands such as Alameda, and more. Look at where our airports, two major airports are located in Oakland, San Francisco. Over the next few decades, we'll see uh, some of those land masses essentially becoming submerged. Many officials would like to see restrictions on developing low-lying areas around the bay, but decisions have yet to be made. Understanding complex climate patterns will help us plan for the future.